It was, it was during this period that Gilpin started to give money to animal welfare organizations. She started to get very involved in that, and she had a bunch of, she had two uh, nice dogs. Uh, you know, they, they weren't like little yappers. They were really nice little dogs, and, and she got a miniature pony, and uh, in a country house, she got a pig, and uh, she, got, she got a cow, a couple of cows, and she was uh, not a giraffe, but, she, you know, because some reason not a giraffe. La ha 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 du ha 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 Poor little Gilpin. She was, she was, she's always been lonely all her life. She's, even though she's constantly socializing, she's, I'd like weekly, maybe a couple times a week, uh, uh, charity events, openings, uh, get togethers, a um, little journey off to here and there. But the problem is that she doesn't like most of her friends. And uh, her mother was like that, too. She didn't like most of her friends either. And Gilpin watched this. She saw that she didn't want to be like that, but here she is. She's just like that. And she's, she's trying to find alternatives. She's trying to find um, uh, people she likes. But she has this idea that, if she, she, that she'd have to go through this long, fallow period where she'd have no friends. And as, as she made the jump, you know. And, and uh, she, she can't, she didn't want to do that. She, she can't stand the idea of being alone.